If you're like most people, you hate mosquitoes, right? They're the Andy Dick of the insect world, annoying and in many cases dangerous. If we rate animals by the number of deaths they cause, these little bloodsuckers top the charts by a wide margin, due mainly to their transmission of malaria and other harmful diseases. And whether your next mosquito bite causes serious illness or intense frustration, we can all agree, right? Mosquitoes are the worst. But are some people immune to mosquito bites? First, let's be clear. Mosquito bites aren't actually bites at all. When a mosquito lands on you, she uses her proboscis, a long double-tubed mouthpiece, to pierce your skin and get at the blood underneath. Yes, she. Every single mosquito that has ever bitten you and ever will bite you has been female. They bite you because they need a protein in your blood to develop their eggs. When a mosquito uses her antennae to sense that uh, sweet warm blood beneath your skin and uses her proboscis to pop into your capillaries, one of those tubes injects saliva while the other one withdraws the blood. The saliva contains enzymes that act as a mild painkiller and thins the blood to prevent clotting. Your body interprets these enzymes as foreign invaders and produces uh, histamine, which is like your body's local militia. Histamine binds to the receptors in the bite area, dilating those local blood vessels. This increased blood flow summons more white blood cells, and when you get too much histamine, the bite area can swell and redden, creating what's called a wheel. Yep, wheel, word of the day, as in rock me like a wagon, wheel. Spelled differently though. Each person will react to a bite differently and your allergies will vary. So what makes a mosquito choose a certain person? There are a number of factors. One of the biggest being that there are more than 3,000 known varieties of mosquitoes and they're not all looking for the same thing. Smell, body temperature, and genetics all play huge roles. According to scientists at Rotterdam Research, each human body produces anywhere from three to 400 distinct chemical odors, some of which are bug magnets and others that might be bug repellent. Research from a chemist named Ulrich Bernier shows that mosquitoes are particularly fond of carbon dioxide. It's released from exhalation and from your skin, as well as lactic acid, which is present on your skin after exercising. Drinking beer, being pregnant, and being a bigger person can all make you more attractive to mosquitoes. Diet and blood type, surprisingly, don't seem to matter much. Now, everyone has these yummy chemicals on their body, but it seems that people mosquitoes avoid produce higher amounts of repellent chemicals. A guy named Dr. James Logan from Rotterdam set up this kind of weird experiment to see if he could find these all-important repellent chemicals. His team separated people into two groups, mosquito favorites and mosquito is. They put these people in these body-sized foil bags, like giant hot pockets for two hours to collect their body odors. And then they analyzed the chemicals they collected and they hooked electrodes up to the antenna of these mosquitoes to see what the bugs thought of each smell. Their study published in the Journal of Medical Entomology cited two chemicals as significantly repellent. One called 6-methyl-5-heptin-2-1, which apparently smells of nail polish remover, and another called geronyl acetone, which has this nice kind of you know, floral odor. It's very pure one, very potpourri. As of the recording today, the race to use these and other chemicals as a new super bug repellent is in full swing. If you're one of the local mosquitoes' favorite dishes, remember to keep some kind of bug repellent with you and to wear long sleeves and pants if the weather permits, especially in areas of the world where these bugs carry diseases like malaria or dengue fever. So I suppose there is a little bit of light at the end of the mosquito net tunnel here. Some people do have a chance of building up a tolerance after repeated bites. For others, however, the allergy just gets worse. So, which are you? Do mosquitoes flock to you like white on rice? Or do mosquitoes avoid you like they avoid me? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe, share with your friends. As always, try to keep most of your blood inside of your body. High five me if we meet in person. And stay tuned for more brain stuff.